hey what is up guys my name is rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called gaming server so it is a try hack me room so it's uh, the description says that any an easy boot to root box for beginners so as you can see the difficulty is easy so as you can see we have been provided with an ip address let's copy it the first thing we'll be doing is running rush scan tag a for everything as you can see we get uh, two ports right away the first one is 80 which probably is an http server and http port the second is uh, I think SSH because 22 is a standard port for SSH. So uh, first of all, let's uh, paste in the IP address. Let's see if we have something here in the robots.txt file. These are first one of the things that I like to do is check our robots.txt file. So as you can see, we have got an uploads folder. So uploads. As you can see, we get a, a dict dot list so which is supposed to be a dictionary list i think and as you can see this is a dictionary list so let's copy it and our scan has been finished so w get so it says that there are two one of them is http port the second is ssh port now let's try to run dirt scan or derbuster so python 3 It is the IP address is this so with that let's look at some of the other things there's a manifesto.txt file so this doesn't appear to be much another one got caught today it's all over the papers teenager arrested in computer crime scandal hacker arrested for after bank tampering so this is uh, nothing so as we can see we get a robots.txt file let's wait uh, while the scan is running uh, yeah we have got a secret folder so as you can see we get a secret key so this is a rsa key so let me type in nano so we have got three uh, results one of them is robots we have already checked it the second is secret we just checked it it, it had the secret rsa uh, file the third was uploads we have got a dictionary dot list uh, file from it so with that uh, let me tell you my approach what i did and where i went wrong i'll tell you uh, we need a user so what i did was if i control u over here towards the end you can see that there is a john user so this was my point where i got to know that okay this is the user which i'm after so before that we'll have to change the permissions id rsa now shh tag i id rsa john at the rate 10.10.228.1 .10 yes as you can see it asks us for a key phrase which i did not know so the next thing that i did was i thought that maybe so this list has the password to john user so what i did was i ran hydra tag l for john tag p for dict dot list and the ip address 10.10.228.195 but let me tell you this was a rabbit hole because this was not the purpose the purpose was to use this key the set of keys in this list to break the id rsa so after hydra did not work i went with the second approach which was to use dictionary.list the keys in dictionary.list to break the key phrase in id rsa so i'll be telling you how i did it i did it with the help of john the ripper so uh, first of all if i nano id rsa you can see that this is a private key but this is not how uh, john uh, breaks id rsa you'll have to convert it to a standard hash file so to do that what i did was let me show you the methodology because i'll not be showing it to you right now how i actually did it because it will take quite some time so what i did was i ran python 3 so you'll be needing a um, script called ssh to john.py you can easily find it online in github As you can see this pops out 
so you can download it from there you can get clone it and you can use python to convert the id rsa file which was this file into id id hash dot txt after it you'll have to download john so you can download john I, if you have a kali box you will already be having it john the river github as you can see this is it uh, you can get clone it from here so in my computer it does not work so i had to open up attack box and try hack me to to run it so this is uh, the snapshot of it so i used john tag tag word list and i used the word list that was provided to us and the hash file and after quite some time it gave us the uh, pass phrase which was let me in so if i now do ssh tag i id rsa john at the rate 10.10.22 8.195 and if I type in the past phrase, which was let me in, as you can see, this works. And if I type in ls, you can see that we get an user.txt file. So cat user.txt file. So if I copy it, if I paste it over here, this is the user flag. So with that, let us look for other flags. So find type f tag permission so uh, my motive here is to look for files that have set uid bit set so which okay, could help us to escalate our privileges but if you look at the results which will be provided to us in a while you will see that the there is no specific file that looks peculiar th that could potentially help us to escalate our privileges as you can see mount u mount su fuser mount and ping they are quite normal and the next that are supposed to come are also quite normal so as you can see we do not get anything specific so the next thing is to look for files that could help that could that we can run as sudo or super user so to do that you what you can do is you can type in sudo tag l because sometimes uh, the root users explicitly mentions that these users can run these these commands so which uh, we can use for our own benefit but as you can see we do not have any sudo uh, any sudo privileges over the machine and we cannot run anything as sudo because it is asking for our password so the next thing that i did was i checked for uh, etc cron tab to look for jobs automated jobs as you can see there's nothing because this looks normal as it is at it always is so the next thing that i did was i typed in id to look for which group i was in so as you can see i am in elna these are the groups that i am in but you can see there is uh, there's something that looks uh, different which is lxd so what i did was i typed in privilege escalation using lxd so the first uh, website that pops up is called hackingarticles.in so lxd could potentially help you to escalate your privileges and this is the trick that i learned when i was doing advent of cyber 2 so the st steps are quite straightforward the all you have to do is there is a directory in github which you'll have to clone and that you'll have to clone in your tagger box so if i were to copy it and if i were to paste it in my original machine so as you can see we get an lxt alpine builder so you can see the files if i type in build lxt so i have to i have to run it as root let me type in my password and it'll take quite some time to generate a tar file so lxt uh, for i do not know the specifics of lsd but it works just like a docker container so all i have to do is this will create an image at, in the form of tar file which you have to import over here and you'll have to uh, change the settings a bit or uh, tweak them in a way that you get pseudo privileges so this is how we'll be doing it so now you can see that our tar file our tar image file is being built over here so as you can see this is the image file that we are uh, we are after so we now we'll be shifting it to the the machine i have made a python server so w get 10.9.144.15 and let's copy it and the following steps are quite straightforward all we have to do is we have to import the image and we'll change it to my image name because this is quite big so all we have to do is we'll, we'll change it to my image name so as you can see this is the image so it is lxc image import 
this is the image and alias will change it to my image so we have changed the name and we have successfully imported it so let's wait till it imports it now all you have to do is to see if it has actually been imported we'll have to run the next command which is going to be lxt image list so let's wait while it is being imported so it has been successfully imported so let us see lxc image list and as you can see it has been listed over here this is the name my name my image which which i wrote over here so the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be running a couple of commands so which will which will give us the root user copy done the next command then let's paste it so my recommendation to you would be to read about lxc and lxt because this is what i'm going to do after this so if i type in id you can see that i am root so if i cd into root as you can see we do not get a root flag but if i type in find type f tag name root.txt you'll see that we get our root flag in the mount directory so mnt ls or cat root.txt so this is the root flag guys and as you can see if you look at the second and this command you can see that the source file is this and we are mounting it to mnt root so that is the reason our entire folder got mounted to mount directory and since the recursive was true so all our files were transferred to this directory so this is how lxt works to escalate the privileges so thank you guys this is the video